is up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so today we're going to be turning this platform into an object that you can walk on with your player. We haven't done anything to code the player, but I want him to be able to walk on this first. If he can't walk on it, then that just seems like really bad uh, foundations for us to build on. Ha 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 ha. Cool. So moving away from that pun very, very quickly, uh, we're going to go up here to our tile map, which we're actually going to rename because a naming scheme is really important to understanding your game. So we're going to press, uh, select it, press F2, and we are going to call it platforms. Now you can have multiple tile maps. And that's something that we are going to use and is actually really, really important. Okay. So I haven't saved. Control S to save platforms. We don't want to put anything in this other than the things that you will walk on or bump into. We don't want anything else on here. The reason for that is we don't want people to be bumping into art that they shouldn't be bumping into. We're going to make this platform object that we've created here walkable. So we're going to go to platforms. We're going to go to, where is it? Tile map. We're going to go to tile map collider 2D. You can see that we've got max tile change, blah, 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 blah. And you can also see we've got a bunch of tiles here underneath that our character will probably never walk on. We want this to be one big box. So how do we do that? We need to add another component. We go and we go to add component. And we need to add a physics 2D object called a composite collider. Now, this will add something called a rigid body 2D. Don't be intimidated by this thing that you don't understand. All you need to do is you need to go body type and you need to go static. Because this is not going to be a moving platform. This is going to be a really, really big, long platform that you can run along. We're going to use this for the, like, the tutorial phase. We can potentially put a boss fight here, whatever. We then don't really need to worry about too much other than going used by composite. Okay, so this this checkbox here and we click this. And if you look now, it's got the green line going all the way along it, that, that light green line that is all the way on the outside instead of going through the individual squares. Now, the other cool thing is if I decide to go down to the end of this platform here and I want to paint another bit of platform for us to step onto, right? So I want to do something like this. You notice this also has a collider on it. So this is a really cool thing that Unity's made. The tile map system is really, really good. Uh, this is just kind of a follow-up video and it's going to be like really short. Like this is it. So that's how you make your tile map have a collider, that kind of thing. That's it. There's another video on this that, you know, obviously gave me the idea, but this is an important part of the series because we're going to be using this. Make sure you don't do something like put a column in the wrong tile map. So I'm going to create another tile map real quick. So I'm going to go to grid. I'm going to go to 2D object tile map as usual. We're going to call this background, background 01, because we're going to need multiple. If I put, oh, okay, what is happening here? No, nope, we want to set this to one and to one. Okay, if you have that happen and your grid is too big, that's kind of what caused it. I'm going to put these two blocks away and then I want them, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should leave me six in between, nine, ten. All right, so that's eight in between them. And I'm going to place it there. You'll notice these don't have a green glowing line on them. But if I select platforms, these do. So that's something pretty cool. So you don't want to do something like this, where you accidentally include it in the thing, and then he won't be able to walk through there when we make that work. Unless for some reason you have a reason to do that. All right, thank you, and bye-bye.